Good morning, Trident, and happy Valentine's Day. We hope you're all feeling the love today, either from that special someone in your life or from your BFFs. Valentine's Day can be an especially empty holiday for those of us who are unattached. Whether you are a star athlete or a quiet loner, we've all felt the sting of rejection at some point. In our first segment, we empathize with those of you who mustered the courage to ask, but came up short. So, how do you deal with a holiday that's all about love and romance if you're traveling the long and winding road alone? My co-anchor here is an expert on that question, and in our next segment, he offers up some tried and true coping strategies. Yeah. Hi, my name is Neil Cox, and due to a certain day coming up soon, I'm here to help those facing crippling loneliness on a day dedicated to relationships. Here are 10 ways to deal with Valentine's Day loneliness. Step 1. Destroy all calendars. That way you can't know what day it is. Step two, cry a little because no one's looking. Step three, cry a lot because no one's looking. Step four, eat away the pain because you're already in deep with the holiday weight. Step five, try to convince yourself you don't need people to be happy. Step six, fail the first time. Step seven, succeed the second time. Step eight, convince yourself that you're better than most people. I'm better than all of you people. I'm better than you. You, and you, and even you! Me? Step 9. Find someone that you really like. What's up? Step 10. Congratulations! You survived yeah, Valentine's Day. Now you Valentine's can completely Day. relapse. <laughs> and that is how you deal with Valentine's Day loneliness. Now if you'll excuse me, I have to recreate sets 1 through 5. Yep. The weather has been crazy this year! Way too much snow! No. Stop now! No. I, I want to die. Uh, so is there any relief in sight? Probably not, but let's check with our highly educated and qualified staff meteorologists. Thanks guys! We have a special forecast today as we will be predicting some lovely weather. As you see, we start off this morning bloody cold, just like Mr. Coyle's heart. That's right. With a wintry mix of snow and rain, people are becoming frantic trying to get those last minute Valentine's gifts, which may very well not happen given the road conditions. Now your Valentine's Day forecast, that holiday that was thought up by big corporations and heartless monsters. During the day, there will be a high of 38 degrees, so wrap up with your Valentine and stay warm. Remember, save lives, say yes. 
And back to you. Okay, so we admit that the tone of this year's Valentine's Day special has been a teensy bit jaded so far, but some of you have found your perfect match, and for that, we congratulate you. Triton does have some cute couples wandering the hallways, and we caught up with a few of them to ask them their secrets to their happy relationship. Warning, the gag factor is pretty high on this one. <laughs> <laughs> We originally met in NES during third grade for uh, Destination Imagination. We were on the same team, and I thought she was kind of icky. She thought I had cooties. Um, I guess we've just been going to school together. Yeah, we met in first or second grade. Or we met in Adventure Ed in Hounam's room. So, Hounam was the matchmaker. Seventh grade, Hounam. Yep. Yeah, we were in like half, half of our classes and we just knew each other, just was too nervous to ask each other out mostly. A year and seven months on uh, the Friday of vacation. Almost 15 months, the 19th of February. It'll be three years this day. One year and two months on Valentine's Day. Over a year. Um, About 16, 17 yeah. months. Well, she has this face that's really pretty, and she can always make me smile and laugh. And she tolerates my beard, which is helpful. <laughs> Everything. Her eyes, her personality. I like how Ashley can always keep me in line because sometimes I go overboard with my sense of humor. Sometimes, and uh, 98% of the time, she's able to uh, <laughs> reel me in and uh, make sure I keep my uh, head level and my ego on track. And uh, I like a cute little smile that she shows off every now and then. And I like that she's able to tolerate me, so that's a pretty good thing. Forgot to mention I'm funny. Oh yeah, you're real funny. He makes like every day of the week a Valentine's Day. It's just, it's nice. Uh, well, he's really funny and he's really nice to me. To me, I know he's not that nice to other people. Yeah, this is our stable. Eat lunch and food together. Brandon's working. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, work. Face. <laughs> what would not? <laughs> I mean, we're always together. We're always just like laughing and hugging. He helped me carry boxes today. We're at the hallway. That's about all. Good Maybe love does exist. Wow, Neil. Your heart of stone is softening before our very eyes. No, it's not. That's all we have for you today. From all of us here at VTV, Happy, Happy Valentine's, Valentine's Day. Day.